In this Lex Fridman podcast, Aaron Smith-Levin provides an in-depth discussion on Scientology, its history, and its impact on individuals who have left the organization. He begins by discussing the belief that all humans are spiritual beings, which forms the foundation of Scientology's philosophy. However, he notes that this belief can be challenging to fully understand at first, especially for those who have not grown up in the organization. Smith Levin goes on to discuss the early development of Scientology and its concepts of the reactive mind and engrams. He explains the role of Dinnick's auditing in Scientology and how it is used to help individuals overcome emotional trauma and other negative experiences. However, he also highlights the many problems associated with Scientology, including how the idea of a messiah or god can be appealing, but can also be dangerous if not handled properly. According to Smith Levin, journalists can interview Scientologists in a fair and accurate way, but it is unlikely that a high ranking official from the church will ever be willing to do so. He also runs an organization that helps people who have escaped from Scientology, and he discusses the three fundamental truths of Scientology man is an immortal spiritual being, physics doesn't have to make sense when Scientologists are talking about it, and Scientology's purpose is to get people to the point where they have their own understandings or realizations about the nature of the eighth dynamic. Smith Levin also discusses the concepts of survival and ethics in Scientology, including the idea that anything that's good for Scientology, which is a third dynamic, is inherently good for all the dynamics. He explains how this leads to the end justifying the means to do anything possible and use any means necessary to afford the aims of Scientology, and how the Sea Organization, the most dedicated version of Scientologists, requires members to give up many aspects of their personal lives. He delves into Scientology's belief in the emitter, a small device used to measure levels of mental activity, and how it works by reading electrical signals from memories, thoughts, and movements. While some may find aspects of Scientology to be strange, Smith Levin argues that it is still a logical and reasonable belief system. He goes on to discuss the belief that people are inherently good, and how this can be a helpful tool in therapy. Smith Levin also shares anecdotes of his own experience as an auditor and how Scientology can cause little crises of faith due to its faith-based nature. He explains how Scientology controls a person's life by controlling what information they can access and by controlling the person's relationships, and how the internet has made it harder for Scientology to control the public's perception of the organization. He provides detailed information about the whereabouts of Scientology leader L. Ron Hubbard's daughter, Shelley Miscaviger, and asserts that she is still in communication with her family members outside of the church. However, some members of Miscavige's family may be afraid to talk to the press because they fear that their stories will be leaked. Smith Levin also discusses his experience as a Scientologist and how it changed over time, noting that while the number of Scientologists worldwide is estimated to be around 35,000, the number of active members is nowhere near what it used to be. In conclusion, Aaron Smith Levin provides a candid and insightful look into Scientology, its history, and its impact on individuals who have left the organization. While he acknowledges the positive aspects of Scientology, he also highlights its many problems, including its impact on personal relationships, and how it can be destructive to families.